Good morning, everybody. It is Monday. I should say good morning. It's just after lunch. Good afternoon. Yeah, I guess so. Happy Sunday morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, March 7th, 9.43 a.m. Don't get excited, I'm looking at the computer. <laughs> so before we go faucet shopping or anything else, we've decided to go for a walk. We need the fresh air to clear out our minds from the stress and everything else. So we're gonna go get that done first. I don't know about you, but I need some, a walk and some fresh air. What about you? I'll be back. So it's Monday, March 8th, and obviously we're in the car. <laughs> Gotta adjust all the mirrors and everything. My neighbor's got a giant car sticking out of his driveway, so hopefully I can get around it. Hey guys, how are you today? I don't think I vlogged yet today and it's 2 p.m. Wednesday, Mar uh, Wednesday, it's not Wednesday, it's Tuesday, Tuesday, March 9th. Um, 
I did my live stream this morning. I've got a couple of journal pages done. I will put some pictures right about here. finally putting my round journal together. I, my friend Leslie McGrath cut me a bunch of these uh, watercolor circles and I had some of, of these coffee filters that are from my dirty paint water bucket, uh, straining the paint water through these. I, was, I usually throw them away and then these two particular ones, I thought, you know, I wonder how they would look as journal covers, round ones, and so might be a little bit better picture of the color. Anyway, so they look really cool. Um, I am going to use some cinch coils to bind them. I used my Zutter Bind It All uh, Punch to um, create sort of a template of where the hole should be. And um, then I used that to line it up on that curved edge and marked it where to put, punch the holes with a regular paper punch. Um, because these are round, they won't punch in the zutter. That's not gonna be something that happens. So I just line it up like that and then punch them out. And then I'm gonna just sit here and listen to some YouTube and punch a bunch of holes. <laughs> And then I will get this all together and I'll show you when I'm done. know what time it is. No clue. So don't ask me. <laughs> Sometime Tuesday afternoon. 50 degrees out but feels like 46. Yeah. And it's raining. Did I mention that? We're going walking anyway. Obviously you can see I have an umbrella. Bob has changed his mind about not having one and he's going to grab one and probably grab hot hands. And then we're going to go for a walk. I'll be back. Happy Wednesday morning, people. It is Wednesday morning, just before 11 a.m. The ring keeps going off. I think it's the cats. <laughs> anyway, I have a table full of stuff I should be working on. So I have two envelopes of Purge artwork and two boxes of artwork and, and supplies and stuff that aren't selling. Y'all aren't interested. So I'm going to repackage them throw some stuff in the trash, something. Um, and then of course I have to film the use it or lose it for February, which I still haven't done. So now it's like part of February, part of March, cause it's the 10th.
Good morning, people. It is 10 a.m. or just thereafter on Thursday, March 11th. I have my appointment for my big hair chop today, so in a couple of hours. Um, before that, I'm gonna go run a few errands, like check on the P.O. box, pick up a few things at the drugstore, and after that, I gotta go to the grocery store, so it's gonna be a day. I do wanna ask you all, how are you all doing? Are you taking care of yourselves? Besides doing art here on this channel, we talk about life and life struggles and those kind of issues. So are you all doing okay? Um, are you managing? Do you have a safe place to go, safe people to talk to that you can trust, uh, healthy ways to vent your frustrations? Um, art, of course, is or should be one of those. But there's lots of other ways to do that too, safely and healthily. Um, if you have tips or tricks for people who might need some advice or new things to try, put them in the comments below. That would be great. Hopefully you have some friends and or family members that you can safely talk to. Um, that's always helpful then to get your frustrations out. Um, I have been saying for a while now, for me, besides doing art, listening to music, turning off devices, going for a walk, um, just being able to clear off my head for more than a month now, I've been turning my computer off early. And I mean early, like at 2.30, 3 o'clock at the latest, my computer goes off. I do sometimes have the tablet on downstairs, but it's not for like our business or watching the news. It's literally for watching YouTube videos and or Netflix and something like that, entertainment kind of stuff. Nothing depressing. Um, only, only, you know, cheery things I can get lost in or art tutorial videos I find interesting. Uh, I don't watch the news hardly ever anymore and any of that. It's just too much. It's just too, too, too much. So, what do you do? I would love to know. Alright, I gotta get over it, Lane. I gotta go to Walgreens. By the way, I know you've seen my hair like for the last few months up like this a lot on camera. I'm gonna put a picture here of what it looks like when it's down, clean, and combed out. I really do look like Einstein's sister. And then the next shot's gonna be a picture of me post haircut. So that'll be fun. All right, I'll be back. So there you go. It's all, all gone. I kind of like it. I haven't had my hair this short in a really, really, really long time, if ever as an adult. <laughs> but I, I like it. Yeah, it looks good. And this is after, you know, the beautician, she like kind of straightened my hair. Um, yeah, because it normally wants to kind of go every which way, but I like it very much. I'm going to eat lunch now because I'm starving and watch some YouTube. I'll be back. That's them quieter than they were just a second ago. Glad that's not my house. Holy cow. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I'm still getting used to the short hair. It's very weird. Anyway, I had to stop and feed Bambi before I could leave. I need to run to the hardware store. I'm working on something for my easel, the painty easel. I need a drip tray. There isn't too many of them made. Mostly they're made in regards to children's easels, which is fine. But even those are like 25 bucks. Nobody's got them in stock anywhere. That's just kind of a lot of money for a drip tray. <laughs> I am going to be and have the itch and urge to paint more at the easel, which is great. But I'm a messy painter. I want to be able to spray water on the paint and have it drip and things and not worry about it getting on the floor. So that means I need a drip tray. I did rig up a rag with the last painting I did, which worked great. 
but it wasn't perfect by any stretch. So I am gonna head to the hardware store. There has got to be something for less than 20 bucks. Whether it's a window box planter I can adapt or something I can use that will work. So as you can see, I got my DIY drip tray mounted underneath the easel. I didn't film any of it because it was I wasn't sure what I was doing. <laughs> and every easel is gonna be different. I will put the brand name of my easel that I have in the video description. It is made by the company M-A-B-E-F, this one. I think it might be this one, which is their M12, maybe, liar easel. That sounds about right. Um, I know when I bought it, I was just brand new to painting, didn't know what I was buying. It was the least expensive one. I should have gotten a different one, a bigger one, but I'm just making it work because now I have it and I'm not buying another one. So I have a one of those giant art clipboards wedged into the back of the easel. And that way, that's always there. And that way, if I want to um, use the easel for um, paper um, and I want to do watercoloring or something back here, I totally can do that. Um, and now I have this drip tray here, which is wedged between the wooden tray. I, I actually took the easel apart and I put the, some holes into this wooden, this is a window planner box. And um, I wedged it in between the pieces of wood and screwed everything back together, which was a pain in the neck. The husband said, you know, I'll do it for you tomorrow if you want to wait. I should have waited. This little piece came out while I was doing it which I didn't know where it went to. I did find out where it went to. I don't know that it's a huge deal that I put it back. I think I'm gonna just leave it out for the moment. <laughs> um, the husband feels so inclined. He can take it apart again and put it in for me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna love working on this. It does have some holes in the bottom because it's a planner, but there's a tray down here. Um, so the water's not gonna go far. I'm never gonna put that much water on the canvas that it would like fill it up and overflow anyway. Plus I've got, can you see chamois in here? Um, I've got a couple different chamois cloths I'm gonna line into the bottom. That'll catch most of the water. I just wanted to have a secure place where it would go and not like drip off the chamois onto the floor. Yeah, cause that's a thing. I may, may fill the drainage holes up with hot glue or something at some point, but for the moment, I'm gonna just let it go. And I'm gonna take an Etsy order to the mailbox and I might go get a little bit of a walk and get some extra steps in today because the last few days, besides yesterday, um, were kind of slow step count days where I did seven to 8,000. And I'd like to have for the week, close the week out with um, my normal like 60,000. And I don't think I'm very close to that at the moment. So, um, I am going to go try to get some extra steps and I think I do have some projects I want to work on, but that was adding that was the big one for today and I got that done. Um, I have some watercoloring ideas and things I want to do, but tomorrow's another day. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so this year I've made a choice. The choice is to put myself first. Yes, my family and art are always a priority. But if I don't make myself a priority, I can't do those other two. So eating better, monitoring my blood pressure and my blood sugar, because my mom's diabetic, for those that don't know. Um, getting my steps in, getting exercise, losing weight, getting healthy, all of those things, they're a priority. I can't control everything, but I'm going to control what I can. I'm gonna be better about taking care of myself. And to that end, we're going to go get some steps in because it's been kind of a slow step week. I like to have 60,000 steps by Friday and I only have 49. So <laughs> we're going to go get some extra steps in and hopefully by the end of the day, I have 60,000 or close. But yeah, I'd like to end the week, which my week ends tomorrow on Fitbit. I'd like to end the week with something over 60 so we'll see I'll be back out walking taking a new path trying not to get lost <laughs>
Oh boy, we'll see what happens. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, 10.31 a.m. It's been a busy morning already. I got laundry started. I cleaned out the bathroom cabinets, my side anyway. Got rid of a bunch of expired stuff, reorganized what is staying in there. Makeup I'm just not wearing anymore and is so past expired. Um, most of which I'm not replacing. Um, I wear a little bit of eye makeup anymore, a little bit of blush stain and lip stain, and that's pretty much it anymore. Um, what else? Feels like I got so much else stuff, but stuff done besides, you know, showered and dressed and all of that. Um, I got all the garbage, we got all the garbage cans emptied. I got Bambi fed. Um, Bob did the dishes. Love, love that guy. Um, right now, I'm trying to stay out of his way. I'm coming up here. I've got Nancy order that came in overnight, so I'm going to get that packed up and wrapped and scheduled to pick up. And because staying out of his way because he's putting in a new kitchen faucet. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing some DIY. I'm staying out of his way unless he calls me to help him hand him a tool or something because, yeah. But I got it. We got a new kitchen faucet, so he's putting the new one in today. And then the one that's there now is going to go in the laundry room when we have the sink put in the laundry room, which will hopefully be in a couple of weeks. And yeah, I have to feed the sourdough starter still, and I want to try starting a gluten-free sourdough starter, which I have the recipe for. I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but it's a King Arthur flour recipe, so I'm going to give it a shot. And um, there was something else I needed to do and I can't think of it besides walking. Um, I do want to get some walking in today. I can't think of what the other thing was. I came all the way upstairs for something and now I can't remember what that something was. Don't you hate when that happens? Holy cow. I'll okay, that took 15 minutes longer than it should have. I just remembered I was going to go upstairs and open some windows while it's nice out. Duh. Okay, it'll be nice. Early spring day and a great day to get some ventilation in the house. And that was what I wanted to do when I headed upstairs. Holy cow. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to watching YouTube. I should say we've had cats and deer and birds and snakes visiting the house today. All the wildlife is out. It's just such a bright, beautiful day. I'll be back. Okay, we got the faucet in and it looks great. I'm so happy we changed it out. We found a couple of interesting things under the sink, so I'm glad we actually did it for more than just look and operation of the faucet. Let's put it that way. Um, but it's all fixed now, and we learned a few things along the way that we probably should know anyway. Uh, looks like the new laundry room sink will be coming in or being installed at the end of the month, hopefully, and the new doors for the back patio will be on order hope probably next week and we're gonna go get some steps in I'll be back accidental pictures of myself that's always fun hey guys it's 9 1 p.m. Saturday March 13th did I even say what the date was this morning I have no idea it's been a busy day but we got a lot done and yeah the sink is looking good. I don't even know if you can see it from there, but there's a new faucet back there. It's all looking good. Bob did a good job. Good job, dear. <laughs> anyway, and his car, his car part came in for his Barracuda that he wants to um, try to get on tomorrow. So, yay. <laughs> all right, that's it for the minute. I hope you all had a great week and that you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Don't forget to check out the video description. There is always links to ways you can support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. There's um, a link tree list of links in particular that has my email newsletter, my Instagram, and the Etsy shop, all that stuff. So check it out. And um, I'd love to... Uh, have you join the Facebook groups or follow me on Instagram or whatever works for you. And um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask.
and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.